Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a solo overnight under an open tarp configuration. This is probably the last chance to do an open style configuration this year. As you can see, the snow is gone and springtime is now in effect. And so are the wood ticks and all the creepy crawlies. So tonight is going to most likely be the last night for an open style shelter. Let's get the pack on, get on the trail and go find a spot to call home for the night.
Okay, so I've got the entire shelter set up for the night. I've got the tarp pitched and I even have the little flaps up here shut. That's gonna help prevent any wind or rain blowing in because it does look like it's actually gonna rain today. It'll also help trap in a lot of the heat going up into the tarp and getting trapped in there. So as you guys can see, I have not set up my sleeping equipment yet. My sleeping pad, my sleeping bag, and my actual ground sheet is still inside of my backpack. I'm gonna leave it in there because there are creepy crawlies all over the forest floor, and I do not wanna have them getting inside of my sleeping gear. So that's gonna stay in my backpack secured for the day. And then later on in the evening, I'll get it out, set it up, jump in and go to sleep. So right now I do have to get some firewood collected for the wood stove because I'm gonna be doing all of my cooking on the stove. And it's gonna be really cool later on tonight with the three glass windows on that stove glowing in kind of a 360, lighting up the tarp and lighting up the area. It's gonna be really comfortable. So I'm gonna grab my saw and go collect some firewood. Okay guys, so walking through this forest, I'm finding a lot of trees that either have broken branches that were hanging in there just like that, or a ton of wood laying on the ground. So I'm not even gonna bother cutting any trees down. I'm just gonna gather up as many of these limbs that I can find, drag it all back to the shelter, and then process it over there.
Okay guys, I've got all my firewood cut and split and I've got it surrounding the stove right now. And I think that's going to be enough because this wood stove is not going to be needed for heat. It's just going to be used for cooking without any smoke coming in the shelter. So I could have made a campfire like I usually do, but this is a nice option of having a clean fire with no embers popping, landing on my sleeping bag, and no smoke coming into the shelter either. So it is now time to grab my kettle here, and I'm going to take off down to the lake and scoop up some water, bring it back, and get a coffee on the stove.
All right, guys, I got a hot cup of coffee on the go right now. I put some more wood inside of the stove, so it's going to smoke a little bit and then catch fire. I can actually feel the heat rolling out of the shelter on my backside. It's pretty warm out today, but it is going to be a little chilly later on, so that'll be nice hunkering inside, laying down on the ground with a nice glow of the stove, feel a little bit of warmth, and if it does rain, which I really hope it does, I'll be totally protected inside and have a nice panoramic view of the forest while it's raining. That will be awesome. So I'm really hoping it rains. But for now, I am going to enjoy my hot cup of coffee and just kick back and enjoy the silence out here. Okay, so nap time is all done, and I gotta say, that was definitely refreshing. I normally never take naps. I slept for a good hour, I woke up, the stove was out, I had to relight that, get that going again. And then I even went down to the lake with my kettle, cleaned that out, filled that up, so I've got a whole kettle full of water ready to boil later on tonight. And then I'll have water throughout the evening for cooking noodles or for coffee in the morning. Now it is supper time, so I'm gonna be doing something that I've never done on the channel, and it is such a camp classic meal. We're doing hot dogs. I've never done hot dogs on the channel, to my knowledge. So I have some green onion, yellow onion. I've got three hot dogs in a bag. I've got hot dog buns on my backpack behind me. I'm gonna get some of these vegetables cut up. I also brought a bag of mayo, so that's gonna be my topping sauce. Uh, so I'm gonna get these in the pan, and I'm gonna get these cut up, and we're gonna have hot dogs, which is going to be awesome. All right guys, hot dogs in the woods, first time. I can't believe I haven't done this on the channel yet. Kind of a classic food, right? So I'm gonna dig into my hot dogs, sit next to the wood stove inside, and I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. So let's dig in. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm all done with supper now, and I gotta say, those hot dogs were actually really good. I was starving, 
and I believe anytime you're starving, food tastes gourmet, no matter what it is, and that was actually really good. So, in the background here, if you guys can see, my kettle is boiling away. Once that comes off, that water will be ready to drink or to cook with later on this evening. And I'm gonna collect a little bit more firewood just off in the forest, just so I have enough left over in the morning, because I don't wanna have to get up in the morning, go look for wood, come back, and then light the stove to make my coffee. I'd like to have a little bit of a reserve of wood off to the side. That way I know I have that for the morning, and then I've got another pile for the nighttime. So I'm gonna get that kettle off there, set it on the ground, go look for some more firewood, and then start relaxing around camp. And I might even go down to the lake to see what that looks like. All right, guys, I got a couple sticks collected. Uh, the one's hardwood, one's softwood, so kind of a, a good mix there. I'm gonna stoke up the stove, and I think I'm gonna head down to the lake just for a little bit of the scenery and take a little bit of a walk. And then I think it's gonna be nightfall after that pretty close. So I'll probably spend a little bit of time down there. And then once it starts getting a little bit dark, I'll come back up to the shelter, get that stove rocking again, and start settling in for the evening. Okay guys, I'm back from my walk down at the lake and I gotta say it is very cold out there. <laughs> very cold. It's windy too. So being in the forest back away from the lake, I'm probably about 200 yards away from the lake and it is quite a bit warmer in the forest and there's no wind making it through. So I'm definitely glad I chose to come to this location as opposed to going down by the lake. Now I have camped here before. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier. I have actually set up with a very similar tarp in the exact same spot and that's what the fire pit is from i've actually made that fire pit in a previous video and camped right here with an open tarp so this whole area is very familiar to me and uh, and i knew that this was going to work with the tarp and i knew the wind wouldn't be in the forest so right now i'm just getting my coffee heated up on top of the stove i'm going to enjoy a hot drink uh, i did clean up a little bit so i moved all the firewood over to this side in one big stack and cleaned up a few other things so that later on in the night basically I'll have a clean shot to get out if I need to go for a bathroom break without tripping over firewood because I had some over here and some over here. I decided to move it all to one side, just made more sense. And everything is looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna heat up my coffee, get this warm and sip on that for a little bit and basically wait for nightfall to settle in. And hopefully we'll get some owls out here and I'm still waiting on the rain. So I'm really hoping it rains. I'm actually pretty excited for that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I'm just going to heat this up, enjoy a hot drink. My hands are quite cold from being down there. So I'm going to hover over the stove for a few minutes. And, uh, and I'll bring you guys back as soon as I'm warmed up. Okay, my coffee is now hot and I just learned something and I'm going to share that with you. Many regular viewers are probably not going to be surprised with this. New viewers, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, I did not bring a jacket with me. Surprise, 
So all I have is my hoodie, <laughs> and uh, that's not a problem inside of the shelter because I'm actually warm in there, and my sleeping bag later on will keep me very warm. But for right now, lounging around, I don't have a jacket. I just have my sweater. So the last time that this happened, when I thought it was going to be nice and warm out, I actually woke up in six inches of fresh snow and almost negative 10 of, uh, of temperature, negative 10 degrees Celsius. And I had, what I think I just had a sweater again that day. Oh, I had my wool shirt. I had my wool button up shirt and a hoodie and that was it. And I ended up hiking. I was like, I was like road runner down the trail just to move in. So I hope that doesn't happen. It, it is the middle of April right now. I will say that. And uh, last week we actually had about four inches of snow out of nowhere. So hopefully this stays nice and warm during the evening while I'm lounging around. And, uh, and then hopefully tomorrow it's not terrible in there. So hopefully I can wake up and get the, the stove going quickly and warm up and be happy about that. So this evening, the, the sky is nothing but cloud cover. So good thing it's not an open sky with a full moon or anything like that because I think it would be a lot colder. But it is quite chilly out here. So I'm going to be inside for most of the evening, blocked by the wind of the tarp and next to that wood stove. Just, uh, just wanted to share that piece of information with you guys. I forgot a jacket. I only have a hoodie. So going to be doing a lot of hot drinks, I think. And good thing I already filled up my kettle down at the lake. So I don't need to go back down there at all. And this is actually leftover coffee. So I do still have a full kettle to make more coffee. So I'm going to enjoy this, warm up a little bit some more, and just basically enjoy the forest for now until nightfall sets in, which is my favorite time of the trip. I'm going to get a few photographs, and then I'll bring you guys back, get the sleep system set up, and then it's going to be relax time for the evening. Okay guys, it's been quite a while and I've just been being lazy around camp, just laying down, putting one piece of wood in the stove at a time and just relaxing. But it is getting quite dark out now and I'm gonna get my sleeping pad inflated, my sleeping bag set up and I'm basically gonna be turning this into my bedroom for the evening. And then I'm gonna continue playing around with the stove, loading a log in at a time. I'm probably gonna cook up some ramen noodles a little later on. And then I might even turn the stove sideways just to give a little bit more room. Um, there is plenty of room, but I just, I feel really nervous about the sleeping bag and my sleeping pad that close to the stove. So I might turn it sideways. I might not. Uh, I am going to let it go out, so I'm not going to let it burn all night. But right now it is sleeping pad time, sleeping bag time. I'm going to get this area set up and then hopefully I'll be able to jump inside and get nice and warm. Alright guys, I've got everything completely set up right now. I've got my sleeping pad set up, my sleeping bag, my ground sheet. Everything's in here really nice. And there is actually a bit of mist in the air right now. So it actually is raining a tiny bit. It might come down pretty heavy tonight, who knows. But I've got the stove stoked up. It is nice and toasty warm. And I am going to crawl in my sleeping bag and start watching a movie. So that means good night to you guys. Movie time for me, and I'll catch you guys in the morning for coffee. Good night, guys.
Good morning guys. It is another beautiful morning out here in the forest. I had the birds chirping just moments ago before I started moving around and kind of scared them away. The stove is cranking out some heat right now. I've got my kettle on there making up some coffee. So let me finish making this up and then I'll explain how last night went. All right, I just finished up with my breakfast, just the oatmeal. I still have my coffee on the go here. And let's talk about last night. So after I shut the camera off and I crawled into my sleeping bag, I did push it back farther from the stove because I was a little bit worried about it. And I actually burned in the stove for probably two hours into the night. I watched a movie on my phone that I had saved right from the sleeping bag, which was pretty awesome, nice and cozy in there. The entire tarp actually glue a nice golden color from the, the three windows in the stove. So that was really nice. And I had to get up for a bathroom break and I went off that way and I looked back through the back of the tarp and it was glowing. So that was really cool. It gave pretty, uh, it, just, just an interesting feel, just a kind of frontiersman kind of bushcraft, old, olden day kind of classic feel, you know, the canvas and the glowing. It just, it just looked really cool. So. I crawled back in there, I watched my movies, I did make a pack of ramen noodles later on in the evening before letting the stove go out. And then when movie time was all done, I could hear a slight tapping of rain on the outside of the tarp. And there are probably a dozen or so raindrops still sitting on the outside of the tarp, but it did not come down with rain. So that was a little bit of a tease. I heard it and I was like, well, it's gonna rain. And then it didn't rain at all. So I rolled over, went back to sleep and uh, I didn't have any creepy crawlies on me last night, so I think it got cold enough that 
they kind of burrowed into the ground to stay warm themselves and I was really lucky. I still haven't seen any creepy crawlies. I've seen one fly and one spider and that's it. So I think I'm getting pretty lucky on this trip so far. But right now I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my coffee. I can feel the warmth from the, from the wood stove on my back. It's kind of comfortable right here. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee and then I'm gonna start the pack up process. Okay, so I'm all finished up with my coffee and I've actually already started packing up a few things. I've got most of my small items already in the backpack, leaving just the large items. My sleeping bag, sleeping pad, my sit pad, stove, and tarp. So the stove is gonna be the last thing to come out of the tarp, and then the tarp's gonna come down. But I am in a bit of a hurry because it is getting very dark out. It is getting quite a bit colder. There are a few raindrops actually starting to fall, and I heard the most faint rumble of thunder way across the lake. I only have a sweater, and I do not want to get caught in a rainstorm in my sweater while I'm trying to pack up. So I'm gonna spare you guys the bulk of the pack up. It's very basic, you guys have seen this before. So I'm gonna get all this stuff jammed in my backpack, get the stove dumped out, get the tarp down, get it all in there, and hopefully I can beat the rain. Okay, I actually beat the rain and I've got everything inside of the pack. So far, so good. So I actually had to run down to the lake and grab a kettle full of water, bring it back up to douse out all those coal and ashes that I dumped out of the wood stove. So that's all taken care of. Everything is inside of the pack and I have got to hit the trail before it starts pouring with rain. So thank you guys very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions and comments, drop them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Peace out guys and I'll see you in the next video.